débat is open. Donc, Any questions? <laughs> All is clear. It's perfect for me, you know? So, me, meanwhile, I just want to repeat my question, just to uh, see how, if you understand the main idea of this presentation. Yes, I, I know that it's difficult for the first time to be face to face with a teacher and to uh, reply to answers. Yes, because, but I think, and I, uh, I believe that the first time it's difficult, but it will uh, give to us self-confidence and um, uh, power to be able uh, to learn in, in English. So, you should know that this initiative, it will be held and it will be take part each, each weekend for such a module. So, you, can, you should prepare yourself for this um, uh, answering questions and asking questions also. So, please, I will repeat it for the second, twice, the second uh, time. Please, tell me if you want to achieve sustainability, sustainable identity, what's the main key to con uh, through heritage? What should we do? I, it's in my title also. <laughs> What's the key? Safeguarding heritage? Yeah, yes. I'm hearing some uh, words. Yes, don't be sharp, sure, please. You can answer. I'm just your teacher, you know. Adlani, yes, you want, <laughs> you want to answer, I think. You can come, please. Yes, I just want to uh, talk about this experience. This an, an, a student of uh, L2, L2, and, and he uh, had just arrived from his uh, journey uh, or her uh, um, Erasmus mobility. He just learned in English at the West Attica University at Athens. So, he, I know, I think that you already uh, know. I'd like to greet everyone for... Yes, please, on this uh, microphone, please. Well, first of all, I would like to greet everyone and say greetings to everyone who came here. So, first of all, I would like to thank everyone for coming up here. I just have one question, since you've mentioned something about people forgetting their origins and their stuff. What would you suggest for the local environment to provide security and provide these for the next generations. Can you explain what, it again, please? What, what do you want to, what are your suggestions to protect our inheritance? What do you have a suggestions? Suggesting for what, please? Protecting yeah. the inheritance that you have to just talk about. You are asking my question, you know. <laughs> That's all I've been thinking of. <laughs> it's a very really relevant question. Thank you, Ablani. Thank you. I will answer it, but I want to have another question. Yes, please, miss. Yeah? Uh, so, uh, I want to represent myself first. I'm Arwa Midisa. I'm a student in uh, second year architecture. Uh, so, I have uh, something to say, but I don't want you to take it uh, misunderstandingly. You said teaching heritage is the best solution to build the Bijaya of tomorrow. And honestly, I think it's far from the truth because we were always protecting those heritage. And that didn't take us to 
some level of uh, evolution. So is there any other uh, solutions to suggest? It's the same question that he asked, but it's, uh, <laughs> I need another uh, solution. So clever you are. Thank you for your relevant question. Thank you. I will answer it. Another question, please. And I will answer. Is it enough for today? For today? Okay, I think I should answer this question, meanwhile other uh, can uh, be asked. So, thank you for your uh, um, questions. I just would like to say that it's very um, difficult to ask in, uh, in person, face to face. It's easier um, to be on uh, behalf mm -hmm to be behind the, the screen. So this is the habit we will have. Uh, when you will have your um, learning distance. So, and for the questions, I just want to say, um, for the second question, becoming her architect heritage educator, I said educator is more over than teacher. So it's a solution for our city. Why? Because our city is a historic city. It has a, uh, a historic center. You should know it. But the first and the most important, identifying values, it, uh, recognizing all each uh, cultural values, it, um, for, it um, can give to you uh, element, necessary element, foundation for designing urban design, urban designing of today. Even uh, the main idea of, the, of of my first question, when you have technical um, methods, tools, but you have not the way of teaching and the way of recognizing and to how to, to know how to know this this field, it's uh, I think it's um, a bad diagnostic. Why? Because if you make a worst, worst diagnostic, this will follow. This will brings to you. Um, tools which are not good for designing of today. So for me, as an architect of heritage, the main solution to be also an educator for heritage, and this one, it, be, it would be integrated in all levels of learning and studying in the university. You know, even at the education level, educate a student or pupils on heritage, it will keep give to, to him a necessary uh, base to know what we becoming for his city. So I think it's uh, very important for me. Did me answer to your question, miss? Did I answer your question? Thank you. Other questions? Yes, please. Can you come here? Please. Hello, everyone. So I will present myself. My name is Zerga Maryam. 
I am a student at the third year of architecture. So when I said this presentation, uh, I, ha I had the thinking, if we have a problem like earthquakes are really a big prob a problem for protecting our uh, heritage. So have, do you have any solution uh, to protect this uh, heritage from these earthquakes? Because we, like we saw in the presentation, we had a really big problem about uh, about this earthquakes. So this is my question. Thank, Thank you. you. Another question I will answer. Okay, I will answer. So for the earthquake, um, excuse me, but I don't think that um, each archi architect could have the, the solution or the tool, the tool for this. But I can tell you something. I know that um, if I take the example of old fabric of Berjaya here in the historic center, you know uh, um, um, that the historic center, the houses, traditional houses, that uh, they are uh, qualified that are, um, uh, they have an architecture very resistant to earthquakes. You know why? Because the different ground, the different levels, that uh, they uh, it's them, uh, don't uh, um, exceed, excuse me, don't exceed two levels or three levels. So if you know that your soil or that your land um, it don't um, be able to, uh, to keep or to have um, buildings which uh, exceed some level, so I think that's an answer. I think it's an information very, very, very important for this. So um, we have not um, I, uh, stool for earthquakes, uh, just law uh, which um, uh, that like guidelines, guidelines that uh, you can follow when you uh, design or when you conceive a project and buildings. So I think um, all this is bring us to the final and to the end of the presentation. I think uh, mm, that um, it's, it's very difficult uh, for the first time, for teacher, even for the student. I would like to thank you uh, twice. Thank you very much and see you next session.